No one ain't for that good us, nganga, I go da, go da, I should be go da, nganga. I go da, 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 I go Divided by three camps. The first camp where we are is called Baobab Cultural Center. This camp is named after this Baobab Big Tree that you are seeing, where we normally do the entertainment and we have lunch here. It's at 2 o'clock. And the second camp called Base Camp, where night program used to take place, place like every Wednesdays and every Saturdays when we have a cruise here, we organize a night program called Makasuru by Night. Also, we invite people from a village called Kimbuje to come and attend because in the night time. We also have a full viewing tower where you can go up and have a good view or a good picture of them. But, but just like a big one, like a father, like a king of the fucking devil. Bro. Hello, hello, mister, you good? Mister, Yaiba, Yaiba. Don't speak well of. Yaiba, you got cool in there. You go, you got cool in there for me, you make it better. You speaking to me? I got cool in there, man. <laughs>
when children are circumcised during 90s this was the place where they normally break them during the work month and also the second activity that was happening here in the holding days ladies also use this park before the english people reported in 1992 towards 1994 and in 1992 Gabe's English and Lawrence, they were doing their daily activities at the base camp and they found a fisherman doing his daily fishing and they asked the fisherman who owned this part. Fisherman told them that in the Gambia lands owned by families or individuals and they told the fisherman that how can we meet the owner of this land. Fisherman told them that in the Gambia lands owned by families or individuals and they told the fisherman that we want to see the family of this Packed. And the fisherman told them that I'm doing my daily fishing till the next day. They, then they spent the first night at the base camp. By then they got five days for them to fly back to UK. Then the next day they went with this fisherman to meet the family who owned this pact. They are, they are from Brekama Sanekunda. It's a very big family. And when they meet the family, during the discussion with the family, they told the family that they want to build an ecotourism center here and they will empower youths and they will create job opportunity within the environment as well. And the money that they are going to generate in this park will come back to the local people. And the family was very happy. They sold them 400 hectares. Then they fly back to UK in 1994. Then they came back. They sold them 600 hectares to make it 1,000, the whole part. And in 1994, games also traveled to many different countries to bring different trees and plant them here. So he also he employed people from a village called Cambodia to come and dig well so that they can have access to the water to water those trees that are imported from various countries but now this wells are abandoned and the discussion and the family also what games told the family and what is happening right now is totally different because they told the family that the money that they have from this part will go back to the community so things have things like that has never been happening and also what they said to the family and the owner of this land they also tell them that they will employ their families members and also they will pay them in pounds and also things like that has never been happening whatever they said to those people and what is happening right now is totally different and what is happening in the internet what they wrote in the internet about this part and what is happening at the moment is totally different because we all know the history of this part before we start to come this area so that's those are the founders and those are the things that have been happening here before the English people bought it and games passed away 15 years ago the wife and the son they control the park <laughs>
Stand up in here. Yeah. How it is at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, because no. it's steep. It's, you can see it because when it's low tide, the area will turn to be like this. Yeah. Yeah. You can even walk on the sandbank to the You can even see the sandbank. Okay. You so can it's see it's the water. Not, it's not too deep. Yeah. yeah. You can see it's not deep. You can see this the other side there. Beautiful. So you can see the oysters. Those are the oysters over there in the mangrove. The white sands, yeah, those are the oysters. Okay, I welcome you all to the boat trip. And uh, before I start with anything, I would like to introduce the name of our captain. And the name of our captain is called Captain Anthony. We can say hi to him. Uh, hey, hello. Captain. <laughs> okay, the creek we are crossing at the moment called Mandina Bolong. Mandina is a word from our local people and Bolong simply means a creek belong to no religion. 
and from here to the Atlantic Ozone is seven nautical miles and we get our sources from Futa Jalon Island in Jinnah Conakry. And as you can see the green vegetation surrounding us, we call them the red mangrove. Also we call it the walking trees or the upside down trees. They bear fruit but they are not eatable. The birds, they eat the fruit, let us collect oysters from their roots. And this oyster collection is done in the dry season and also in the low tide. And when ladies are going for the oyster collection, they go with a wooden boat, different with this fiber boat. And they cover their hands with a glove and carry a knife or a cutlass simply because the edges of the oysters, they are very sharp. And when one for the kudos, nana, I go down, go down, I should be going down, nana. I want to see the yama, I nana, I nana, I want to see the one for the kudos, nana, I go down, go down, I should be going down. I go down, go down, I should be going down, Nana. I want to see the young mama, I'm going to die, 
Okay, here we are and that's the gingerbread plum and this gingerbread plum it has fruit and the fruit are eatable with the human beings and the baboons they eat the fruit when they are ripe they normally fall down I will show you guys the fruit over the other side and after eating the fruit that is not inside you just break it and dry it and eat it it's good for the diabetes not only that the new leaf of the gingerbread plum you can also boil it and drink it to cool down your high blood pressure Gingerbread plum. Yeah. Okay. Any question again? Understood? What's yeah. the flavor after? For me, it's it smells like a banana okay. to me. Yeah. Some some are sweet, but some are not sweet. I even yes. eat it to you. When they are not ripe, when you eat it, you bring it out. It's very bitter. Okay. When it's not ripe, because the the cover is bitter. You have to remove the cover, then you eat the flesh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Even me. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, very good. <laughs> oh, what is that? That smells so nice. To me, it smells like a banana. Yeah, it's, 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 got a, it's got a sweet, sweet, very sweet smell. It smells yeah. exactly. Mm. exactly. So we eat this one or no? Yeah. No, this one is not 100 percent. When it's not 100 percent ripe, right, this flex the cover. When you eat it, oh my god! So can you buy these out in the in the market? Or? Yeah, they normally sell them at the market. When when they are 100 100 percent ready, you know we have so a season of it, everything here. This one's not ready yet. No, this one is not 100 percent ready. It okay. have to be 100 percent because the bubble they they yeah. bring it down. So when you eat it, it contains a not inside. Mm. That not you have to break it and dry it. When it gets dry, you have to eat it. It's I very want to see the nut, but I can't get into it. Unless when it gets dry, or maybe you can take it home, if you mm. want. It, I'm trying to think what it smells like. <laughs> it smells a little bit like like passion fruit, but not really. Passion fruit and banana. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the stuff inside is just like a castle. Exactly, you can see. The stuff yeah. inside is just like a castle. You see now. Mm. So you have to break this. Yeah. And dry because this one is already dry. Okay. Yeah. So how do you, you don't allow it to dry 100% because if not, you can't eat it. Mm. Yeah. Because this is 100% dry. That's it. Yeah. This feels like it's like you can almost like a moisturizer. But it's not really. Oh, it's like cream. Yeah. So, the hot we are just seeing nice. is where the fortune teller. Mm. So, what I can just pay to him. Yeah, just pay to him directly. Yeah, you can sit there. Yeah. You say you push a bit? Oh. Exactly. Yeah. He said, you have been coming to Gambia, but this is your first time coming to Makasutu. He said he see love and peace coming on your way. He said, where you walk, there are a lot of people there. He said, what you are doing, you continue to do that because you are a good person and you also have patience. He said, when you do that, you will see what he is talking about. And he said, you will travel to many countries. He said, where you are walking, he only sees success in it. He doesn't see any failure. He said, the one you are with, he see a man in your life and that man is rightfully belong to you. You are all meant for one another. You cannot go without him. He cannot go without you. You are meant for one another. He said, both of you are meant for one another. He sees success in two of you. He said, time to time you sit and think twice. You think like this, you think like that. He said, that's not a problem. Just concentrate. The man in your life is good for you and you guys are meant for one another. He said, Al always continue to concentrate. 
when you concentrate you're gonna see success and you're gonna see a lot of happiness coming on your way he said you will have long life and also you have good health and he said you have a parent and make sure you make them happy and make sure they are not sad they are always happy about you when they are happy you will be happy because they are the source of happiness he said back home you try to cook something that you like among your favorite food you cook one when you cook one then you call your friends and your family you come and eat it he said that's a very good for you he said when you do that you will see a lot of change, things will change said you put it like he said just continue doing that you will see it he said you have a good heart he said just do that you will see he said you're never gonna suffer in life but when you stay up to 24 hours it will ferment when it is ferment it will start to get strong Mm. When you stay for two days, the volume will go up to 6%. Mm. When you stay for a week, 12% maximum. Mm. But right now, you can drink as more, you don't get drunk. Perfect. It's good for short sighted and it's good for Tommy as well. Mm. But as you may know, this palm wine is directly from the oil palm tree. Yeah, you tap this palm wine, when the notes are young, they are juicy, you can tap and have juice out of it. This has water in it. No, you don't mix put water this in one, it. This one, no water. You don't mix nothing with it. Oh, it's yeah. natural. It's natural, yeah. We take. Is the, we tried the six-day one. Is it sweet? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. Is it sweet or one. is it bitter? No, 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 no. When it is fresh, you taste a little bit of sugar. Okay. When oh. it is fermenting, it is very sour. Mm. Oh. Yeah. But if you have to close it for in the bottle yeah. for 24 hours, the bottle will expand. Oh, God. If you don't have to, if, if you don't want it to be ferment, you have to make a hole here mm. to allow air to be getting inside. Mm. Otherwise, it will ferment easily. Yeah. Will it bust the, the bottle? The more it's staying longer, the bottle will bust. Oh. Mm. Or if you are to remove it, you remove it bit by bit to allow the air to go. Otherwise. The cover, if you have to remove it, 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 it will hit your face. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but right now you can try a zip. If yeah. you need a zip. This is different it. from the smell. It smells like coconut. Mm. Why? It does so like vinegar. Oof. It smells like alcohol already. Mm. At the beginning tastes a little bit like some beer. It's nice. Mm. Nice way sweet. It tastes like that. Shine. I think it it's one like pound. Yeah. 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 I don't like it. Mm. Yeah, but mm. it's not too much. It tastes like cheese. <laughs> right now it doesn't make you drink. No one for the kudos, nana, I go da, go da, I should be go da, nana. I want to see the yama, ma, I nana, da, I nana, da, I want this king. No one for the kudos, nana, I go da, go da, I should be go da, nana.